Georgia. Did y'all watch the same game I just watched today? Day one. They came out looking like this all summer long. Off season long. Y'all had an early off season too now. Y'all had a early off season and y'all come and put this product on the field. Now, let me just say this now because I know y'all going to pick and choose what y'all want to hear from me. So I'm just going to say it now. Yes, it's still early in the season. Yes, we still got plenty of time. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. We still got a chance. I'm going to knock that out the way. Okay, I'm going to say that now. Yes, we can still improve. And yes, we won't see teams like the Vikings all the time. Cool. I'm going to say that now. With that being said, this team is guard. Bitch, this is this that was pitiful today. We've been preaching fast and physical for how, how long has Dan Quinn been here now? We've been preaching fast and physical all year. All his his all of Quinn era, we've been preaching fast and physical. We're just fast. There's no physical about us. Nothing. Offense, defense, we just getting bullied. Except for Grady. I see you, Grady. You 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 be holding it down. We just be getting abused. Did y'all see the Vikings? We're going to start with the Vikings offensive line. They That's what an offensive line should look like. Dalvin, could, Dalvin had all types of holes. First half, he had like a, I think the, the team had like 100 rushing yards on the, the first half wasn't even over with, bro. Thielen, whew, Isaiah Oliver, I told y'all. Y'all think I just be talking for fun. Y'all think I be bashing this team. No. I be keeping it real. That's just what I do. I be telling y'all, this team was not ready. You can see it in the preseason. We wasn't getting no pressure. It's the same. It's the same old song. And then they go in that press conference after each and every game. We got some things to do, things to work on, improvements. Woo, 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 woo. I probably, I'm probably going to find a clip, and we're going to start a counter <laughs> for how many times he says we're going to. I'm, I'm going to start doing it. Y'all just going to see the clip whenever I find the clip. But... I, I told you Isaiah Oliver was going to be a problem. He was out there looking lost. I don't care if he, he's starting to get some plan. Just now starting to get some. You're, playing, you're, you're going up against one of the best receiving cores every year. In, oh, you're, going up, you're going up against some of the best players. You're going up against Julio, Ridley, Sanu, probably Hooper every now and then in practice. You shouldn't be looking lost like that out there in the field, man. And then this this tack out here, they not sealing the edge and Vic and they getting pancake left and right. <laughs> and then uh our offensive line boy, Jake Matthews, garbage. Any of our right tackles. Garbage. I'm going to say it now. They're garbage until proven otherwise. You know how they say innocent until proven otherwise? They're garbage until proven otherwise. <laughs> we all we had no type of offense. We was looking bad, looking pitiful. Julio was looking defeated on the sideline. And Matt Ryan looked like he kept his composure. Freeman out here committing the biggest finesse ever since Joe Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Just finessing the city. We don't know what we're going to get out of him. I think it's just whenever we play physical teams, we just go out sad. Like, Eagles coming up, that is a physical front seven. We finna get whooped, I'm sure. I'm about 50% sure. You know how you can just eyeball something? You can just do the little eye test and you can tell, like, oh, yeah, they're going to be straight. They're going to be all right. The eyeball test today, the big eye in the sky, never lies. I know y'all heard that who played football before. This, this looked pitiful, but... You know, everything's fixable, I guess. Everything that they did do out there is fixable. Except for the physical, the physicality. that You can't just fix that automatically. That's been our problem for the longest. How long are we going to have these same problems, uh, Falcons? This team is too talented to, to only score in garbage time. This team is way too talented. We got Matt Ryan, Ryan Freeman... Edo Julio, Julio, who just signed a fat ass contract, can't get open. Xavier Rose shutting him down. Ridley, Sanu, like this team is too talented to be looking like this. Defense, I think we just too light on our ass. I think we just need like that old school physical mentality of a team. Just get us 
slow linebacker core who can fill the gap, stop the run. The fat D lineman, just give us a big Rod Coleman type guy in the middle. Defensive ends, I don't, I don't know. We, we, I don't know. Do we need to revamp? Is this what? I don't know what it is. I don't have the answers. Do y'all have the answers? Let me know. Dan Quinn's on the hot seat. I told you, if he don't make the playoffs, he's on. I've been saying this. Some of y'all say he's not on the hot seat. <laughs> Did y'all see that today? This team is too talented for this, man. If they we're too talented. But how are we not producing? Y'all got the answers. Let me know because I don't know. I'm just telling you what I seen on that field today. And like I said, I know it's early. I know we got plenty of time. It's, it's six minutes. I, I'm i rambling. I didn't even think about what I was going to say. I literally went to sleep because I was so mad. <laughs> I would have been had this video up a long time ago. But I was like, I had to go to sleep before I just ramble and say something stupid on YouTube. And y'all just comment. I'm about to start exposing y'all comments too. Because I've been said all of this. And y'all was like, oh, this is the preseason. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we picked them up. We picked up those two linemen in the free agency because, because they're good and we need them. There's a reason why we picked them up in the free agency. There's a reason why they're in the free agency. They weren't no big guys that was requiring hella money on their team. They just let them go because the team couldn't afford them. They sucked. And now they over here sucking too. History repeats itself, right? We having the same problems with this team every year, bro. But, you know, it's still early. Like I said, it's only one game. No need to be worried. It's just whenever we play physical teams. A physical front seven. We look kind of suspect out there. But, you know what I'm saying? It's early. I just had to let that off my chest. I just had to let it go. Y'all let y'all let go of y'all frustrations too? We look terrible this first game. And don't tell me anything otherwise. Don't tell me anything otherwise. Because I do not believe you. I'm not going to believe you watched the game. you just going to expose yourself in the comments. Like, why are good teams like the Patriots dominating right now? They looking like the Vikings. It's unbelievable. They produce. Why can't we produce? We have more weapons everywhere. Except for probably O-line. They O-line is definitely better than this. But other than that, what's the problem? Y'all let me know. I'm... I thought Atlanta United broke the curse. It's still on the city, bro. It's still on the city. Plays on plays on plays, plays on plays on plays. Got my jack jumping all day, jack jumping all day. Yeah, so no dope, but can show you where the zips at. Bitch, I'm in the whip. Them niggas making plays on the strip. I can't go with they without hearing some lip. Man, these niggas love this shit. Phone me ringing off the side of my hip. I don't even make a profit off it though. You know it, deal a break me up for peace of the gas.